Well, hello everyone, Major Frenchy here. Uh, welcome to another video. Today I'm attacking a big topic. Um, uh, we are installing Pinup Popper and uh, we're going to use the baller installer. And uh, I'm going to focus on this Legends Pinball Virtual Pinball Cab, but the principle um, applies to any regular pinball cabinet. Uh, the only difference with the uh, Legends Pinball is uh, we have OTG which I'm enabling the PC right now. You can see that my desktop on the play field. And also you're gonna need the back glass. You need a Vibs board. Uh, uh, video is gonna pop right now on the screen. If you haven't seen my tutorial on this, you will need this to work on the Legends Pinball. Nailbuster has a great wiki. I highly suggest that you read this. Uh, it will actually answer a lot of your questions and issues. Also, if you like Pinup Popper, uh, consider donating to Nailbuster. And you can find the software on the uh, virtual pinball chat on Discord. Uh, that's actually the Discord I created many years ago. And uh, I'm going to show you where to get this. It's a big uh, Discord. There's a lot of rooms. And it's all separated by topics. So you're going to scroll until you find Popper Baller Installer. And at the top, you're going to click on the pin message. And uh, Nailbuster actually posts the latest uh, download file for this on the Mega, and then you're going to download that onto your computer. Now you can see the different versions uh, of the different software included in this install. Uh, Visual Pinball X, actually now we're 10.7. Pinup Player, uh, 1.4.6. Pinup Front, Popper Front End, DMD EXT, Freezy, Flex DMD, and Future Pinball. Next is the main screen for the Pinup Popper Baller Installer. It tells you the version of the software, also that it's for non-commercial purposes only. So if you're selling cabs with Pinup Popper, well, you are in breach and against the author's wishes. Uh, we're going to actually click Next and we're going to pick the configuration of our setup, so the layout. The Legends Pinball is actually a two screen, so we're going to pick Layout A. And for the uh, resolution, well, I have a HD 1080p. It's not 4K. That's going to affect the icon, so make sure you pick the right one for your system. Now, the displays, uh, it's important that your main display is on the far left. And uh, if you have a back glass and a topper, those are going to be on the right side. And make sure the scaling is at 100%. I'm going to check my own display settings and you can see one and two. Now the main display here that I'm showing this presentation is my back glass. So one is my back glass. So it should not be on the left. It should be on the right. And if you run the actual, if you continue with the software with the back glass first, you will get an error. I'll actually show you. If I click uh, the first step, you will see an error message there on the first line. That's because my back glass was on the left. So I moved it to the right and it was okay. Next step, it's going to configure future pinball and also the back glass, the B2S. So you're going to get a few pop-ups.
step three is going to be the config of the displays. So this is basically the pinup popper stuff where you want stuff to be. So the back glass, we're going to click on that. A box is going to appear. Now you can move that box on the um, on any monitor that you wish to have the back glass displayed. And you have a couple of buttons that will allow you to quickly select a full screen if you want the full screen to be the back glass. Now uh, we're going to click on show select to go back to the menu. Now we're going to click on the play field. The play field, uh, I'm going to split my screen here. So on the left side, it's actually my play field. Um, it's the entire play field. So the, that you want full for sure. Now we're going to click on DMD41 slim. Uh, that you want to get, um, we're going to move it on the back glass. So here, um, you're going to click on the real DMD tab and Test DMD and show back glass. You're going to check that. Now you're going to actually put that pinup popper DMD and scale it to fit in that black area. And this is pretty much where the, uh, the DMD is going to show. Now you're going to click stop test. And uh, we're done. You can close this. So now we need to map the buttons for the emulators. So we're going to open Visual Pinball. In preference, there's a configure keys, nudge, and DOF. And um, we're going to need to find out from the control panel, though, what are the buttons assignments. So devices and printers. Uh, ATG control deck for the Legends pinball. You might have a zero delay or whatever your your button mapping controller is. And now we're going to click on properties. So we're going to see the button assignment here. So pressing the buttons on your cabinet will show which button it is. And that's the button we're going to assign in the emulator. So you do that for every button and mark them down. So, for example, left flipper, uh, my button is actually 11, right flipper is 6, and coins is 1, and so on. So that's, uh, in preference, uh, we're going to go to the video and uh, make sure you got the right display. And I'm going to select the force exclusive full screen mode and click OK. All right, we're going to uh, open up Pinup Popper Setup, and what we want to do now is we want to configure the keys uh, so the uh, buttons are working. So we're going to click on Controller Setup, and here it's very easy. You double-click, and it will ask you what button, and you can physically press the button on the cabinet. That will be recognized. So that's kind of, kind of nice. I, I like this. So, uh, for example, Game Next, I'm going to double click and press the right flipper. And Game Prior, I'm going to double click and click the left flipper. And select the other buttons that I want to use on the cabinet to navigate the pinup popper menu. So, we need to do the same thing for a Future Pinball. So, I'm going to launch futurepinball.exe. And we're going to go in the uh, Game and Keys. And on the right side, you're going to see there's a little enable and pick your interface. For me, it's HID. And here, it's the same thing. It's a drop down and you put the buttons uh, assigned in the uh, control panel. But I told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Every move is on the page. But I didn't like their way. Now we're ready. We're launching Pinup Popper front end. And this is what we've got. Everybody want to tell you bad things, what could go wrong? And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down, myself down. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Welcome to Emerald Isle. Enjoy the wonders of our home.
ball save. Thank you so much guys for being with me today. I hope you actually gonna find this useful. Thank you so much Nail Buster for writing this amazing and easy way to set up virtual pinball. Um, it's taking a lot of weight off people's shoulders and into trying to figure out exactly what they need. So thank you very much. Guys, if you have questions, um, the Discord is where you're actually gonna find your answer. Come and join us and uh, I'll see you in the next video.